Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Today we're gonna be checking out the creepiest games of all time. And you guys already know. Boy, you better get that out of here. And you better get to the subscribe button. Just go, just click it. It's right down below. Please just do it now. It'll really help out the channel. And yeah, comment down below something creepy. You can put janitors. You can put clowns. Or you could put your mama. Let me know. And let's go! Oh, McDonald's oh, horror game. Oh, he comes outside! Oh. Run, black man! Yeah. Huh? What? What just happened? Uh-oh! <gasps> he just put his balls in my mouth and just shook me. What the f***? Hell. Where is he? Give me a Big Mac. Ooh, Anna McFlurry. <gasps> oh! Yo, why is he camping? Is he squaring up? Oh! Oh, that's sad. Grenade? Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Bro, he just, why is he not? Yo, he's spawn trapping. He just blew yo. you to oblivion. Oh! Run him over. Oh, Run word, him over. Yeah! Oh. That's for not giving me a refund. And you just gonna blow up the McDonald's. <laughs> Gosh dang. Now I know I'm always saying throw a grenade and call it a day, but dang, Ronald McDonald, you throwing grenades? Were you in the military? Like, like, jeez. Are you mad about being a clown? Or that not enough people are buying your Big Macs? <laughs> I mean, jeez. Do you remember this scary flash horror game from the early days of the internet called The House? No. A lot of you guys told me about this game in the comments, and I remember it too. And did you also know there's a sequel to this game as well? Yeah. If you remember playing or watching someone play through the house as a kid, sit tight because we're about to get nostalgic. Full playthrough of both of these games right here. These terrifying games are pretty similar, so most of what I say applies to both. The house is a point and click flash horror game where you have to investigate an abandoned house where all the family members allegedly unalive themselves. There's not really any puzzle solving, it's mostly just clicking around until the next jump scare happens. The game uses visual storytelling in each room to show you exactly what happened to the family members. And while it's pretty simplistic by today's standards, it was really scary at the time. I firmly believe that these flash games from the early days of the internet inspired indie horror developers for years to come. Because if there's one thing I can say about the house even today, it's got a great atmosphere. What the heck is going on with homegirl in the background? This girl looks hungry. <laughs> I mean, somebody go get her some food. You want Subway <laughs> or something? I mean, you have it your way. Wait, or is that Burger King? I'm pretty sure that's Burger King. King. The dude in the front, why are you making that face, man? He's just like, mm? you making the face like the girl in the background's tickling your booty. <laughs> Sorry. My little pinecorn family. Shh, you have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. I actually tortured your family the other day. Knock the baby over. You torturing pinecones? Just a little bit. Just to get what I want. It's fine though. I'm not gonna hurt you. Wait, what? That's it, girl? Come on now. I was looking for a pine cone jump scare. I feel like this girl would like literally talk to pine cones in real life. You look like you would do that, girl. You look crazy. And if I'm walking out on the street and I see her talking to pine cones, I'm calling the institution to have her picked up and committed to the institution. You're insane. Today we're gonna be talking about one. Your mama? Oh! <laughs> Okay. One of the nicest backrooms entities. Entity number 48, Aiden. Aiden appears to be a mall security guard with a camera for a head. He will protect you at any cost, helping wanderers through traps or just keeping them safe in general. He does appear to know a lot about most levels. There are multiple Aidens, but all Aidens share the same mind. And if you meet a different Aiden, he will remember you. Aiden has to be one of my favorite entities. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, he'd be my favorite entity if he's looking out for me, letting me know what traps there are, and keeping me safe. Nice suit, by the way. When you go to the men's warehouse and ask for a suit, like, like, what size do you ask for? I would like to have security camera size, please. It's an extra medium. Thank you. I mean, you can't talk too much trash about him because, you know, he's helping you out. Just like I'd help this girl out of her clothes. Ooh! Okay. Can you give us a sign? No. <gasps> the cross is on fire. What does that Don't do it, man. Oh, that means it's Just try to, yeah. 
Can you give us another sign? Don't, Don't kill us. <laughs> Jeez. Is that sign good enough? I mean, dang, how many signs you want? People always want proof. There's like, hey, can you give us a sign that you're here? Well, how about this? <laughs> Jeez, this dude's like, uh, how about now? Dang, that dude got tired of you asking for signs. He said, I'm gonna take you out now. Bro, your face is disgusting, man. You look like you just got beat up. Can somebody pour some alcohol on him or like, like get him some peroxide, some Vaseline? We gotta clean up these wounds. You will be real good at Halloween Horror Nights. Here are three real ways to survive the immortal snail. According to legend, as long as you can evade this entity, you will be granted eternal life. Hmm. But there's a catch. It will always be aware of your location, always be following you, and if it catches you, your life will come to an immediate and painful end. The first thing you'll need to remember to have a chance at surviving this creature is to never stop moving. The snail might be slow, but it has no need to eat, sleep, or do anything else that would stop its pursuit of you, mm. and the moment you let your guard down is the moment it will strike. Secondly, you'll want to consider relocating to a more remote location. The snail might be immortal, but it still has to follow the laws of nature, mm. and you can use this to your advantage. For example, snails can't swim, so a houseboat or island would be a perfect candidate for relocation. Yep. Finally, if all else fails, you can attempt to imprison the snail in a jar or a capsule. <coughs> this option is risky, because you might accidentally touch the snail in the process of trying to capture it. However, if you do successfully carry out this task, you could be putting an end to your worries permanently. Tag a friend if you enjoy this series and follow for more. Uh, yeah, I'd definitely trap the snail. Or you'd pay somebody to trap the snail for you. And then once the snail's trapped, you, you're good, man. Put him in a jar and then ship him off to Africa. <laughs> he ain't never gonna make it back over here. Imagine the snail hitches a ride. He, like, gets on a truck and then that gets that truck gets on a boat and then makes it all the way over here. We, jeez. That's what I want to know. Is the snail smart or is he just, like, trying to touch me? I don't know. Pervert. Oh my gosh, he's walking towards me. Oh my god, no! Oh, oh, oh. Girl, you're fine. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? <gasps> I, I don't know, but I'm scared. Oh, right there, dummy! Yeah, it's awake. Oh my god, she's red eyes. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Back my away. Uh, oh, she's just running in front of me. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm out of battery. Okay. Ah, you dodo. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you could have ran. You just stood there making that stupid face. I mean, gee, girl, you had all the opportunities to get up on out of there. And what the heck? You got Pickle Rick from Rick and Morty in the background? Hopefully you learned your lesson, okay? I mean, uh, girl, you... Mm -mm. You better be glad this isn't real life. You do this again, girl, and I'm gonna slap the glasses off your face. This is said to be one of the most dangerous games to ever exist. Of course, I've played it before if you wanna check it out. I think I also uploaded a video here to TikTok. But anyway, it is said that those who play this game might end up getting possessed or being dragged into eternal darkness. So if you're interested in playing, you need a box of matches, a closet, of course, and you need to be very brave and patient and wait until nighttime to play it. Yep. You must be all alone. So here's how you play it. Step one, take the matches and go to your bedroom or wherever the closet is. Step two, you must turn off all the lights. Step three, you open the closet door, go inside and close it. Step four, that's the one that freaked me out. You must just be there in the darkness, just sitting there or standing for two minutes, just facing the door, not seeing a word. What? Step five, take one match, light it, hold it in front of you and say, show me the light or leave me in darkness. No. Step six, you have to listen very carefully. The match might just go out and you cannot light it again unless you hear faint whispering. If you do, light the match again immediately. Do not turn around. You might start getting scared. I know I did. Even if you feel like something's behind you, you cannot turn around. However, if you hear something, you can light the match. And if it goes out, you must light another one. Still holding the match, open the door and leave the closet. Do not turn around. Do not look inside the closet. 
From now on, you must always make sure that you turn on the light before going near that closet ever again. And if at night the lights are out and the closet door is open, you might see glowing red eyes looking at you and they glow like matches. Girl, you can't keep telling me hey, don't turn around. I'm gonna turn around. I need to see what's going on back there. Look at all those hands coming out the closet. Girl, you need to move to a different house, go somewhere else, or throw a grenade in the closet. Blow it up. Ain't gonna be no demons in there after that. That's the best way, man. That's your ticket right there. Grenade. You ever seen a movie where like, oh, there's a demon and that like, nobody's ever tried to throw a grenade and blow the demon up. Trust me, man. I bet you it's gonna work. Stop! What? In here? No, 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 yeah, no, no, Yeah, no, no. I don't trust Thank that you. thing. Thank uh, you, Bombalina. I love you. Get out of there, man. Uh, that was Lina, close. You just saved my life. Thank you. You are a clutch goat. You know that? Everyone, I want you all to welcome our newest student. Thank you. You're late to class. What? I'm sorry about being late. I'm gonna slide this time since it's your first day. But be late again, and I'll rip you to pieces. Let's no, you won't. For math, and since this is the first science lesson of the semester, it will only be a review lesson. I got you. But first, let me introduce you to our classroom rule. I'm locked in. No eating, no talking, no breathing, no moving, no asking questions, and no washroom breaks. That Remember, sounds I will have to like every other school. Very, very harshly if you break any of those rules. Of course. Back to the review. Let's start with something easy. I got you. How hot is the sun? Uh, I don't know who to say. Sea life lover. Finger form. Wrong. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Oh, you were wrong, bro. That is terrifying, man. If they made this into like an actual restaurant and that thing's the mascot, you know what? I think it's I think it's time to go to go home. Don't go to that place, I'm girl. You look like the Michelin Man, looking like an oversized marshmallow. I'll cook you in the fire real quick. You ain't taking me out with your dang pink Miranda Sings lipstick. And who the heck has that ugly eyeshadow? I'm a girl. So I just played the most scariest game I've ever played in my life, and here's a compilation of some of the jump scares I had in the game. Game. Uh oh. Ah! Oh my god! She oh peed her pants. What the f is this game? Girl, you're fine. Oh my god, this game is horrible! <laughs> this girl's having a heart attack. Maddie! Hello! Ugh. Oh my god! <laughs> Jeez. I mean, if you come across this demon looking thing, you know, I don't blame you for screaming and freaking out. Look how stressed she is. Somebody take her on a vacation. Girl, me and you could go on vacation. Where do you want to go? The Maldives? You want to go to Bali? We can go to Costa Rica. Wherever you want to go, we'll even fly first class. You look like you could use some, uh, you know, some pills or something. You want some anxiety medication? I got some in my medicine drawer. Let me know, Miss Pouty Lips. Just, just let me know. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and smack that like button. And yeah, I'm see ya in the next one. Peace.